Good afternoon. On behalf of the Glavin family, I would like to offer my condolences to the Aaron family for your loss. In 1984, when I was drafted by the Braves, I didn't know much about the organization, but I certainly knew who Henry Aaron was. And as a minor league player in those days, and Mr. Aaron being ahead of the minor leagues, it was always neat to see him around, and you always hoped he was going to say hi to you or have some passing conversation with you. You certainly wanted to avoid the conversation in Mr. Aaron's office because that usually meant you were either in trouble or you were going home. So you tried to avoid that one at all costs. Having the opportunity to get to know Mr. Aaron a little bit more over the subsequent years and certainly the last few years at the Hall of Fame, I always felt like I was in the presence of greatness, but I was always struck by how humble Mr. Aaron was. He would never let you know that he was arguably the greatest baseball player of all time. He was a great ambassador for the game. He was a great ambassador for the Braves organization, and he will be missed. We've all seen the movie Field of Dreams. If there is a baseball team in heaven, they just picked up a heck of a cleanup hitter. Rest in peace, Mr. Aaron, we'll miss you. I have been so lucky to wear this uniform for over 20 years and live in Atlanta. And as a former Atlanta Brave, saddened to hear about Hank's passing, but I promise you, Hank's memory will live forever. Baseball won't forget, Atlanta won't forget, because he's the greatest Atlanta Brave in the history of baseball. When I think of Hank Aaron, I think of all the memories of the greatest home run hitter to ever live. But more importantly, intimately, I got to see him every year. When we went to spring training, he was there in the background, so unassuming, handshake available, a warm smile, and he couldn't wait for baseball to be played. Hank, no doubt, is the ambassador of the Atlanta Braves. But what he was, was he made an impact in your life as a baseball player or even away from the game. Hank will never be forget, forgotten in the Hall of Fame as he was the ambassador of a group that I never thought I'd be part of. To see Hank every year was truly, a, I felt like a little kid that had chills walking up to Mr. Aaron as a fan of the game, but realized I got to play and wear the same uniform he did. Here's the image that I have in my mind when I think of Hank Aaron. Truist Park gets opened up, and all the past Braves get a chance to walk out to their positions to open up a brand new park in Atlanta. And what is that image that we will all remember? We will remember at home plate, Hank getting out of a car, putting down home plate to establish the new era of Truist Park. The other image that I'll never forget is actually at the Hall of Fame when we were all gathered to take the yearly picture after the ceremony. Well, it was Frank Robinson, Joe Morgan, and Hank Aaron. They were at the top step of the Otisaga, making their way down to the podium to get the picture taken. All three in walkers. All three making their way down, and somebody decided to make it a race-like event by announcing down the stretch they come. And with about 10 to 20 yards to go, the look in Hank's eye, I'll never forget, he's got this. And at the last 10 yards, he was the first to get there as the three immortal Hall of Famers were making their way to that picture. You see, Hank played in an era where you can't even imagine what he had to go through and what he had to overcome and persevere. He played with a very bumpy road in his journey, but that road he paved for others to follow is a lot smoother than it was. Hank is a pioneer that will forever be etched in the Hall of Fame, baseball, and the Atlanta Braves. Miss you, my man, and I will never, ever forget you.